Our first app for the review is Slash Keyboard. It's not just a standard keyboard, but it supports the services of more than 20 apps. You can see the apps like Spotify, Google, Facebook, Twitter and YouTube sits on the top of your keyboard. So now let's just set up the profile first. You can create your own custom slash by just putting up the slash and after that your keyboard. Now let's just save it. And you can even select the themes. For now there are just three themes but it says that more are coming soon. The settings bar lets you choose the language you want for the keyboard. And you can even customize the order of the shortcut bars you want for the keyboard. The additional settings lets you choose the options like auto capitalization, double spacing and text correction. So now let's just quickly set this up and have a look at the keyboard itself. In this conversation I'm sharing a location with one of my friend. I don't even have to open the maps app I can just simply press the maps button on the keyboard and search for the location and I can directly share it from there itself. So well that's how it works. Our next app for the review is Inquire. This app lets you share your Android screen with another Android user. You can simply press the share button and it will create an access code for you. After that, you can send that access code or else you can even copy the code. And if you want to access the screen of another user on your device, you can go back and press the access button. Here you need to enter the access code to access the screen of another device. The UI is pretty simple, yeah they could have been added some more functions but this app is one of its kind on play so now let's see the demonstration of this app in this video i'm trying to connect the right phone with the left phone by simply entering the access code of the right phone it seems like the both phones are connecting now i can see the screen of the right phone on my left phone yeah it's a bit laggy but it can be said that this app can be very useful in certain conditions. Basically this app is very similar to the team viewer of PCs but the difference is that you cannot control the device on the other side. Our third app on the list is IF. It lets you perform any particular task based on a particular condition. Let's continue. You can see the list of applets like if it's raining tomorrow, get a mobile notification. Get weather forecast every day at 7. Similarly, you can set the condition and perform any task. So let's try this one. Mute your Android phone when you arrive at work. When you turn it on, it asks for permissions. After granting the permission, you just need to configure the location of your work and you can press ok now we have successfully applied this applet similarly you can even create your own applet by tapping on my applets and this plus button if this then that like let's take this example if I disconnect from my Wi-Fi, then I want to make some action yeah after that I want to turn off my Wi-Fi so generally whenever I would disconnect from my Wi-Fi it would automatically turn off my Wi-Fi so that would save my battery life similarly you can create n number of applets and upload it on the applet store and you can even share it with your friends our next app for the review is Nudge Me Nudge Me is an educational app which makes learning easier and smarter so let's log in this app offers you with the courses like vocabulary builder in easy intermediate and advanced level english idioms english verbal phrases and mathematical tips and tricks so uh, i think i'll go for this one yeah so now you can even select the number of notification you want to receive in a day from the range of 2 to 11 you can go for any number so let's select 7 and now i have successfully subscribed for english idioms now we can see the example of the notification we would be receiving here you can see that the meaning and the usage of the whole word or the phrase is covered so whatever the course you are going for the whole content is covered in this bit size notification moreover you can even track the status of your course by looking at your progress rate and success rate 
Our fifth and last app for the review is Movies. Movies is a personalization app that brings your music experience to life with the help of its floating visualization beneath your on-screen navigation buttons. You just need to select a visualization and click on go live. So whenever the next time you play any music, it would automatically bring that visualization beneath your on-screen navigation buttons as you can see here. And on the top of that, you can even customize the properties like size, height, spread and color of the visualization. So let's try this one. Okay, let's see. As you can see here, the visualization has been changed. And if that was not enough, you can even create your own visualization by simply managing the properties like shape, color, size and spread. Let's try the shape and keep the spread high let's go for this click on go live and we can see our own visualization so next time whenever you're listening to music try it with movies